Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome. Thank you so very much for joining me. This is Smash That Small Paper Pad. For this month, you chose Winter Wonderland. This has 24 sheets. I was missing a few, but it worked out good for me because I got confused and I thought that we were going to come out on the 26th and then I double checked and we are coming out the 25th. So it is nearly 11 p.m. the night before because from my time zone it comes out very early. So here we go. <laughs> I don't know if I made all of these today. I made one or two before this evening. I started out by taking the pad apart and it, this pad has tons of cut aparts. So I had cut all of those apart and my plan originally was to sit down and mat them onto solid stock. There were so many, I knew that I wasn't gonna use them and they're double-sided, so I didn't know which side. So I didn't prep them in advance, but I went through and really looked. This is an interesting pad because it has fall and winter Tomorrow is Thanksgiving here in the U.S. At that point, I'm pretty much done with fall, and I'm on to winter and Hanukkah and Christmas, and I, I'm over it. So I didn't want to make brown. I didn't want to use, even though this is a really cute pattern, I just don't need it right now. And same for this one. So what I'm going to do with these scraps, this one I got glitter all over, some of these larger scraps, I'm going to put these in my fall box for next year. And then some of these sentiments or I don't know, maybe you just call them little journaling cards that I didn't use. I'm going to put those in with journal making stuff because this one will be really cute in a journal. And notice that one side is fall and one side is winter. So it's a pretty neat idea. It's just a little late for me for all this brown, but it's really cute. And I was in a big hurry tonight. So these are going to go in with some journal making stuff I have going. I didn't use these sentiments that say snowflakes are kisses from heaven. I like them and I will have lots of snowflakes. I just didn't have them dug out tonight. And then the other thing that I saved I liked very much and didn't use is the mountains are calling and I must go. And it has this evergreen tree on it. I have a million evergreen tree stamps and papers. And these just didn't work for me with birch trees. Uh, that's just <laughs> that's just me and my idiosyncrasy. If you've seen the video of the neighborhood I live in, I take trees very seriously. And, and these just didn't work for me. But I want to save these and use them. So let me show you the cards I made. I used, because I was in a giant hurry, I used simple things. I like my snow pen, but I was assembling too fast and not stopping to emboss, so I didn't use that. I used glossy accents for a bit of snow here, which isn't quite dry. It will dry clearer, so it looks a little yellow here. And then on the snowman's eyes here and there. So I need to be a little bit careful because things aren't quite dry. And then I use stickles. And I, that's what I got. I got stickles everywhere. So there were these cute snowmen, and I really liked them. And then I used a lot of this sparkly paper that I have a ton of. Again, it's a little bit fallish, but I pulled it off and I'm still trying to use it up because I don't have a giant pack of gold. This is more copper or rose gold or something. So I went with let it snow. Then I wanted snowflakes and I wanted small ones. So I was fussy cutting here and there on the little sentiment cards that they had. If they had a snowflake, I was cutting them out. And then I have stickles all over this one with the layers and the paper. And I have a little something on the inside of all of them. Some people are well, worth melting for. This was a scrap card. I left spaces between so that mirror cardstock shows through and then have that fussy cut snowflake right there. And I inked the edges on this one. I don't know why. I was trying something. Walking in a Winter Wonderland, these, I framed them separate, and these are fussy cut out of little sentiment or image things that were in the cut aparts, and then I added a couple snowflakes. This is a scrap card, Walking in a Winter Wonderland, some snowflakes, stars, and then just scrap papers back there. This one, Winter reminds us that everyone and everything needs some quiet time. Katrina Mayer. I have the other one of those down here. I liked it very much. 
the snowflake is a little big and maybe should have been up there like for balance but cute and then I was just gluing stuff down and thought, oh, the snowman needs to be anchored, so I gave him some snow down there. Do you want to build a snowman? And this is the other snowman strip, so you can see similar idea with the same cut apart. Baby, it's cold outside. This is from a sticker sheet that I had sitting over here and thought, well, I want a snowman or something. And then these were little snowflakes that I had fussy cut. That one's a little plain. It could use a little something. Warm winter wishes. I like it, but I got it glued down crooked. And then I put on some little stars and a snowman. And then he has the glossy accents on his eyes. Some people are worth melting for. The striped paper was not my favorite, but I really like it with the scarf and pulled that in. Then I added some of these little iridescent stars for fun, just because I didn't feel like I had enough snowflakes. Here, this is actually two separate cut aparts. I laid them side by side on a piece of paper. Do you want to build the snowman? And then I used the washi tape here. I think that one might be one of my favorites. I don't know why. I don't know if it's about the color or how it lays out. I liked putting the two cut aparts side by side to get a bigger statement instead of like on this one, I tried the two little ones like this. If you have small cut aparts, you can mix them up and try different things. The other thing is if you look at this carefully, this is the same cut apart. I cut a snowflake out on the back so his little rear end was gone. I used them anyway. You can make those cut aparts your own. You don't have to stick to the shape they came in. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out the other participants in this collab. This is Smash That Small Paper Pad, like I said. So you, you might see cards, little journals, gift box ideas. You never know. I'm calling this one smashed. I'm going to put this stuff away. The only stuff that I'm going to dump are I have some shapes and bits in here and I am going to dump these. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of this collaboration and those of you in the U.S. I hope that your Thanksgiving is wonderful and the rest of you happy Thursday. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.